Here we go again. Gavin Newsom's beloved California, the Bay Area. Here we go. The countdown is on in less than a month. These three Target stores in the Bay Area will all be shut down. And the reason? It's something we're seeing far too often. Good evening, I'm Karina Nova. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. We're San Francisco, Oakland, often. and Pittsburgh will all lose a Target store, and they'll lose them before Halloween. These are the three local stores Target announced today will be closing. They are part of nine store closures across the country affecting Portland, Seattle, and New York City. Target gave only one reason retail theft and and look where they are they're all in libtard libtard run states for decades we're coming to your state we're gonna destroy yours too just elect us Oh, they're stomping. They're stomping to get elected. We're going to make changes. We're going to make everything great. Newsom. Gavin Newsom. I mean, oh, my God. <laughs> really? We're going to make things better. We're going to improve things. We're, we're just going to make it better for you. And here we go. Closing stores is good for you. ABC 7 News reporter Luce Pena is live in the newsroom. And Luce, this is really a big deal for a lot of people. Massive deal, Dan. And Karina Target categorized its decision as a difficult one, saying it implemented multiple strategies to try to operate. It's so difficult. We, we, had, we struggled with this. We kept throwing money at the problem, but it didn't solve it these stores safely but target says none of those efforts succeeded in less than a month three bay area target retail stores are set to close target located on century boulevard in pittsburgh broadway and 27th in oakland and the one located on Folsom in san francisco gone effective october 21st i think it is a disappointment especially because i moved around the area to be close to shopping centers and uh, things like Target and, and get my groceries. Target is blaming organized retail theft for their closures, saying in part. Gavin Newsom only cares about the criminals and the homeless. He don't care about that guy. That guy moved near there so he can have access to shopping, groceries. He's a law-abiding citizen. They don't care about them. They don't care about the law about its innocence. No. Screw you. Screw you. Part. We cannot continue operating these stores because theft and organized retail crime are threatening the safety of our team and guests and contributing to unsustainable business performance. I see them when they're in the front and they take it. They're taking things out of their bags. Yeah. How often do you see that here? Uh, I have seen it uh, at least three times, and I don't come here that often. So, I you know how the reporters they find they find some somebody. But do, do these reporters go shopping? Why, why don't they talk like normal people? Why don't they give us their experiences too? I, hey, I live in the community. I I I'm on your local news. This affects me too. None of them say that. Let me go find some poor little lady. Let's see what she's got to say. No, there is. It's bad. It's bad around here. Yeah. Rows of tents surround the area where Target. Look at this. Gazum, Gavin Newsom. It's tent cities. Near the Target. Near the Target. There you go. Get on Folsom is located. Residents are not surprised by Target's decision here pointing to a decline in safety. So I'm not really sure why, like, security doesn't do something about it. I mean, I always see them inside not doing anything. The closure... They can't do anything. They can... They see somebody stealing. They're calling police. They're calling the manager. What are they going to do? They're just a security... Uh, they're just hired security.
It would cost him a fortune to hire police officers brandishing weapons. But what is a hired security uh, team going to do from a company? What are they going to do? ...of these stores go beyond retail convenience. Lynette Gibson McElhaney is a former Oakland Council member who says this is a devastating loss for the community. She worked for four years to convince Target to open the store they're now closing here. Target was a big, was a big fish for us. We now lost the CVS and Target, which is where people were being... Uh, directed. In San Francisco, Supervisor Matt Dorsey believes closures will continue unless more police officers are hired. It breaks my heart. It's because we've seen this a lot in whether it's the mid-market area or the Whole Foods that closed in my neighborhood or the Westfield Mall. He's proposing a charter amendment to fully staff SFPD in five years. What can be done today? What can San Francisco do today to prevent more stores from closing? I, I honestly wish I had better answers on near-term solutions. But time is... Oh, my God. This guy. I wish I had some ideas to fix this problem. <laughs> Start locking people up. Get rid of these homeless camps. Close the border. Get the military down there. Shut the border up. You have all these homeless people coming in here. Where the hell are they going to live? How the hell are they going to get jobs? They don't have visas. You got American homeless people there too. Where's, where's Gavin Newsom? Where's he at? What is he doing? Doesn't look like he's doing nothing but complaining about uh, Santa's in uh, Florida. Calling him a hypocrite. Calling, yeah, calling the governor of Florida. Calling him out on his hypocrisy, but Florida's doing just fine. But look at California. They're shutting down stores. These poor law-abiding citizens in the area suffer for it because they don't do a damn thing about it. And then this guy, I don't know. I wish I had some answers. I wish, I don't know. Maybe it was Newsom's policies. That's what this guy could have said. Well, it's the policies. We can't arrest them because they're hungry. We can't throw them in jail. You can't throw them in jail. Arrest these thieves and throw them in jail. That's why they keep coming back, coming back, stealing, 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 because they know ain't nothing going to be done to them. It's the same song and dance. It's taking for residents like Yolanda, who's seen her city change before her eyes. It takes a toll in the community, to be honest with you. It's San Francisco. It's, yeah, it's, it's not what it used to be. Yeah, thank. It's not what it used to be. The glory of San Francisco. The glory of beautiful San Francisco has been destroyed by liberal policies. Screaming racial division. We need, we need uh, all of these policies. We need to stop being so hard on criminals. We just got, we just can't do that. It's okay. They're hungry. It's all right. It's okay if they can set up a full tent city in, on a whole strip right near where law by the citizens go shopping. Do something about it. And Oakland's mayor responded to the closure of Target in her city by saying she is disappointed by the news and her goal is to continue working in partnership with members of the business community to help ensure their safety and success. She's going to consult with the business community to ensure their safety. The, what's the business community going to do? Okay. Let's get together. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a meeting. We're gonna get everybody on a big round table. All right. We're gonna create our own military task force. Let's go. <laughs> what are they 
going to do? They can't go, okay. Hmm. Let me see. Let's, let's, uh, well, let's start by getting rid of the tent city right there. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm sure somewhere there in California, they've got an empty military base. Get all them homeless people. Get them on a bus. Take them to this empty military base. There's barracks. There's all this crap. Take them there. And then slowly process them and figure it out. Right? See who's on drugs. All right. Frisk them. You can't take drugs in here. Get them in there. It's kind of like a mini, mini jail because they're violating the law, aren't they? Don't California have city ordinance where you just can't water? No laudering. All right. Now we got a reason we can detain them. Go detain them. Get them off the streets. We wouldn't have this problem. In the city. Now there are still 32 Target stores in the San Francisco Oakland market. In the newsroom, loose pay. Yeah. Coming to a closure near you. Because Gavin Newsom won't do nothing about it. He won't do nothing about it. And there you go. That's what's happening.